I'm Pat Dixon from the Magnet Lab, and we're going to talk for a couple of minutes on how you can see a magnetic field. So what I'm going to do is take a typical bar magnet, and if I put the bar magnet down and put some compasses, and these are not fancy, these are just regular directional compasses, around the magnet, all of the arrows will be pointing toward the north pole of the magnet. Now typically people think that the red tipped part of the arrow would point toward the north end of the magnet, but these compasses are south seeking. So when you look at this, you can see that the red arrows are actually pointing away and the blue is pointing toward the north end of the magnet. If you doubt this, I can take the magnet because we've got the north end with the little notch in it. That's how I know it's north. And I can turn it around and the needles will reverse so that now the red tips are pointing clearly you can see away from the north end. So this is one way to see a magnetic field because magnets exert this force that we cannot see. And there's another way we can look at it as well by taking a sheet of plastic or in this case it's a little plastic frame. Put it on top of the bar magnet and I'm going to use some zinc coated chips and I can just very carefully pour these on the plastic piece. And I can not, I not only can now see the field that's created by this bar magnet, which is really typical, the kind you'd see in, a, in your typical textbook. The closer the lines are, the stronger the magnetic field is. So if this plastic piece was even bigger, the filings would just get thinner and thinner and thinner. If you wanted to test how far the magnetic field extends, all you need to do is keep moving your compasses further and further out, and when they're no longer affected by this magnet, but are affected just by the Earth's magnetic field, then you'll know that that's the limit of this magnet's field.